Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nurse Catherine here. In today's video, I will be covering assessment findings in musculoskeletal injuries and traumas. I will be breaking it down into three different parts. These three different parts will be visual, reported, and resulted. Later on in this video, I will get into more of what that means. But before we get started, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel right now and give this video a big thumbs up. But other than that, let's get this video started. Our first assessment skill that we will be talking about is a visual assessment. And this may be the most straightforward assessment of all three that we are doing today. In some musculoskeletal traumas, you may noticeably see the issue going on and sometimes you may not. So your visual assessment skills are a key part of your patient's assessment. Now, in this series, I have gone through what certain types of fractures look like and musculoskeletal trauma injuries. So if you have not seen that, make sure you go back to the other videos that I have posted in this series so you can see what these injuries look like. When looking at the injury, take in all the information you possibly can. Is there bleeding still happening? Is there swelling around the injury site? Is there skin around the injury site or has it completely come off? Are there amputations around the injury site? These are all important factors when doing your visual assessment. And this is not an exhaustive list. This is just a few key areas of doing a visual assessment. Secondly, let's talk about the reported assessment. And what I mean by that is the patient reported assessment. So what is your patient experiencing? Are they experiencing pain? Are they experiencing pain in one section of the body when you notice their leg is totally off? Is that pain in the arm masking the pain that they have an amputated leg? That does happen. You can have pain masking another area that this patient should be having pain in. I also want you to remember the six P's of compartment syndrome. The six P's are pain, pressure, pulses, paresthesia, paralysis, pallor, and poikilothermia. So listen to your patient and remember these six P's of compartment syndrome. All of these but pain and pressure are late symptoms of compartment syndrome. So make sure you are listening to your patient and what they are reporting to you. Again, this is not an exhaustive list of what your patient may be reporting, but it is a start. Lastly, let's talk about lab results. The results of your patient's labs may not be what you are expecting. Your patient may show signs of rhabdomyolysis or also known as rhabdo. What to expect when your patient has rhabdo is hypovolemic shock, elevated creatinine kinase levels, and or dark urine or brown urine. Also in your patient with a traumatic musculoskeletal injury, they may have elevated potassium levels. Potassium levels may rise 12 to 36 hours after the initial injury. This typically happens with a crushing injury. And of course, remember, depending on the injury, your patient's hemoglobin and hematocrit level may be down due to blood loss during the actual event. These are all important labs and factors to anticipate in your patient so you're not taken off guard when taking care of this patient. But that is it for today's video, everyone. Those are the assessment findings I wanted to talk about in today's video for you all with musculoskeletal injuries and traumas. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell when new videos are coming out. I release two videos every week. Wednesdays are educational and Saturdays are more vlog styled and not so much educational related. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in Saturday's video.